This is the rare Remington 1911 US Army, and today we're gonna test how well it shoots. I was looking for that toothbrush. From the year 1942 to 1945, they made about 900,000 of these in preparation for World War II. The company that made the second most 1911s was Colt, and they made 400,000. You would expect them for almost making a million guns that they wouldn't be this expensive. You've got to wait to the end so you can aim down the sights and shoot the gun just like John Browning himself wanted you to. Let's see how the recoil is on this gun. That's some great form, huh? That gun looks like it's about to fly out of my hands. I need to work on my forearm strength or something. Jeez. If you guys have any recommendations for any other kind of target, please let me know. This thing is just embarrassing. All right, now let's come together and see how John Browning designed this pistol to be shot. Back in 1938, this thing cost only $26. I should have bought more. Dang it. Oh, there's my toothbrush. Let me know what y'all want to see next. 